Yo, what is good, my anime tape? What is good? <sighs> I wish I could have got this out earlier to y'all, but this second episode of both my shows were pretty fire. We're going to start with the Orient and just how crazy it is that the band of Bushins have shown up. And seemingly they can't just uh, attack this Kishin and destroy it within like an instance, right? Like it's not something that weak. Uh, but we also know that our boys wanted this kill for themselves. They wanted, well, one of them wanted the kill for himself. All the other, he wasn't so much ready to fight as much as his counterpart is. Um, not to mention... This katana doesn't really seem all that worth, um, you know, it's, it's pride, I guess you should say. Like, it's not worth his pride at this point, because he hasn't showcased anything with the sword that it's capable of doing anything worth talking about, in my opinion. So, <clears throat> when the people are like, yo, you lost your sword, oh no, and he's gonna eat it. Uh, one of them's like, who cares, bro? Like, get get you a new sword. And from what I was thinking is, yeah, the same thing. But I'm hoping there's a reason um, he got his sword. Like, besides just the fact that his father was saying this is pride. I'm really hopeful that there's, like, some kind of really cool power that he is getting from it. Un like, that's unique from others. I wouldn't want him to become, like, the ban of the Bushin. Uh, where he just has, like, some samurai... Uh, stand that comes out like all of them I mean that'd be cool if it was a unique one but at the end of the day they were all riding the same type of motorcycles uh, that they had so it goes to show you that even the father had that you know has something of memory so it, it's pretty clear that they'll probably get one of those types of fighting styles if not uh, a different one or something along those lines but yeah, this was a pretty interesting episode, just seeing how the main character really took on the role of getting the sword back and busting open that monster's stomach. Kind of showcases what he's willing to do for very uh, minuscule things compared to other people. Other people don't care about a sword or a other person's life, right? Like, they don't care about that. They would rather protect themselves, which was interesting because they were over all over our main guy, making sure they're right next to him, so he could probably kill the demons and protect them, right? That would be a smart thing to think. Gotta think smart, not not slow. But overall, I am very, very happy with what I'm seeing in the show. I think they're building up quite the relationship between the two boys. You know, him listening in to the conversation about that sword being his pride, while the other kid is just hearing it and not really knowing one of them's right behind him. Um... It just goes to show you how much respect they both had for the father. And I'm really curious to see what happened to him. I feel like he didn't just up and leave. He even had his katana in a uh, in chains as well. So I'm very, very curious to see if he like stood up and fought or got in trouble. Or maybe by the certain age they just get rid of Bushins. I'm not sure. But we do know Kishans eat their swords, which is really weird and obviously dangerous if you try to attack them and they can just bite your sword and try to take it away from you. So overall, I hope you're all having an amazing day, night, evening. I got one more video I'm going to drop for you. Sorry about this light right here. This thing really wanted to be in the camera, so it is what it is. But overall, I'll talk to you on the next one. Take care. Please do like a like, leave a like and subscribe if you make it this far. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. Bye.